This is Unleashing Leadership. I'm your host, Travis Moss, with our Season 5 co-host, Dave Nurchie. And this podcast is all about our takeaways from different books that are inspiring to us. This one happens to be The Hard Thing About Hard Things by Ben Horowitz. And we go beyond just doing a, a silly little book report. We actually talk about the takeaways and how we've implemented those or observed those in our day lives. Um, and what's so great about that? And so our jobs, just for those who don't know, I'm this chief executive officer of Seed Planning Group, and Dave is the chief operating officer at Seed Planning Group. So this is real life stuff that we get to try out with employees at a fast growing firm uh, to see if it works, see if it doesn't, what well, maybe we would do different going forward. And as always, do us a favor, like and subscribe to us wherever you are listening or watching. If you really like Dave being added to the show, this is his first season with us. If you love the contributions he's making, let us know. So maybe we can, you know, renew his contract or something with him and keep him on the show. Um, just joking. We don't really have a contract. He just shows up and gives us his wisdom. But thank you, Dave, for, for this season and your time. Um, our takeaway, building something out of nothing. And this is really directed at uh, why things are hard. The hard thing about hard things is is you're, it's not like you got a, a, a recipe book. You know, all business is different. So we're going to get into that. But first, we're going to talk about our, our sponsor of the day, and it's Cutthroat College Podcast. I'm sorry, it's Cutthroat College Planning Podcast. We got to make sure we get the planning in there. Got it. Um, I'm, I'm getting better at that. I just go too fast. Helping people avoid going broke because of the cost of college. Check them out at nqrmedia.com or wherever podcasts can be found. All right, Dave, building something out of nothing, um, building airplanes in the air, um, herding cats. Uh, this is this is the being an entrepreneur, probably not herding cats, probably more building airplanes in the air. This um, is like your episode. I mean, you got you built seed. Yeah, talk about it. Well, I think it's interesting because people will talk about uh let's let's say that you look at somebody who's been very successful, somebody who 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 started a business, Jeff Bezos, mm -hmm. right? Um or Elon Musk or Howard Schultz or or uh, Mark Zuckerberg or any of those guys who who start something and they become incredibly successful. Right. And trillionaires, billionaires or trillionaires, actually, at this point, I think Warren Buffett, right? Billionaires. Um, and you think it's not fair. Look at how much money they get. You know, look at look at look at what they have. Mm -hmm. and, and we could talk about the fact that most of that money is not even liquid because it's in the company. You can't just sell it. Right. right. Um, so it's not it's not real. You can put it in Fords, but it's not like they can just go and like cash it out whenever they want. Um but the reality is the reason why they get that, the reason why their payroll number is 500% of what the average employee is or whatever is because they're the ones who built something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who created something that didn't exist and now employs, in some cases, hundreds of thousands or even a million people, right? They're the ones who created products or services that changed the world. And I guess that that's the big difference when when somebody's talking about um, owning a business or being an entrepreneur or running a company or if they're really really good at something. There are there are people who are good operators. They can come in and here's the system. You take it over now. And then there are people who can go in and they have the tenacity and the commitment. I think we were talking a couple of episodes ago. I was talking about the honey badger, and we were talking about courage and determination, right? They've got all of that kind of built in there yep. that uh, they actually can create something out of nothing and not just create something, but make it long lasting, everlasting, something that is becomes a fabric of society or a fabric of, of local consciousness. If they're talking about a community or something like that, mm -hmm. I do think that that's a, um, a unique ability. I don't think many people have that. Yeah, I mean, you're, it's like, you're talking, like, think of it like scale of something, right? Like the contribution that you're talking about is like worldwide, right? It, 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 it's everywhere. And that it's just a different, there's no, there's no map for it. There's no one that says, Hey, here's what you do to be successful in this role or something, right? Like, 
you mentioned someone could come in and maybe they're a really good manager. They could, they really execute operations well, and they just, you know, they, they hammer that stuff out and it's great. Um, and maybe someone's just a great leader of people, but they're not like, it's still confined to that organization, I guess, in a sense, but so what we're talking about building something out of nothing, there's a big, there's like a, just a change in the way things are done. I mean, the, you talk, think about like iPhones and, and that, right. And, Facebook, uh, the Amazon, I mean, it literally changed the world. People shop you, you can yeah. on your phone and you get things delivered to your door. Like, so the part you don't see though, too, right? Like that, like, again, they get paid so much money and all that, you know, I, Bezos lived out of his garage or whatever. Right. And like, or, uh, the company was out of his garage. Yeah. They, yeah. The sacrifices that a lot of them, and not, maybe not all of them. Right. But the sacrifices more times than not of, you know, figuring it out for years of not being able to, you know, just live normally or maybe start a family or do some of the things that an employee can just not even have to think about, right? Hey, I get right. my salary. I show up. If I do my job, my job's not at risk. I'm just going right. to, you know, they don't, as the entrepreneur or when you're building something, you don't get that luxury because something right. can take your feet out at any time. Yeah. There's a big difference between building something and um, tagging along to something, mm -hmm. right? And I think that people, a lot of times, once a business is established, don't understand that. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that entrepreneur entrepreneurs necessarily, necessarily set out to build something out of nothing. I don't think they go, oh, geez, let's build something out of nothing today. Right. I do think that there's people out there who try to invent things that haven't been thought of before. But I think that, you know, you, you'll meet people who have a, accumulated patents or have invented things. And they also don't go anywhere, you know, because right. all they're doing is inventing things that, that what's the actual application of it. Right. I think what happens is that people have a vision and, 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 um, who's a Virgin Galactic guy, Richard Branson. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, one of my favorite quotes from him is that, you know, I believe it's from him is that being a visionary is not seeing what's not there. So you're not saying, Hey, let's, let's create something out of nothing. It's seeing what's already there. Um, but that everybody's just ignoring it. Mm -hmm. And so you see something that there that everybody's ignoring. And the reason why they're ignoring it is because of the way things are being done. Right. And so you say, look, we got to rebuild this thing. Mm -hmm. We got to, we got to create something that's, that's very different. And we got to figure out how to pay for it. Yeah. Right. How to build the platform for it, how to, you know, all these other things that you have to figure out how to make it actually work. Right. Um, because the reason why it's being it, it's neglected, it's basically like having a, a child that, that nobody ever talks to, mm -hmm. right? Or nobody ever looks at, no, the, nobody ever sees. It's it's just this, it's in the corner and it's just sad and it's by itself. And so then all of a sudden you walk, you find it, you go, okay, I'm going to bring it out into the light, and but I got to teach it to talk and I got to teach it to, you know, what I mean, like I, I have to teach it everything. So yep. you're starting, but they don't look at it as like, oh, I'm just going to go out there and start from nothing. It's the idea is something. Yeah, that's a good right? thing about, we talked about Amazon, right? And Bezos, like think about it started out as the book, right? Like, a, right. so he, he didn't invent reading or books, like he right. changed right. the way books could be the delivery, the yeah. delivery of it. And then it turns into so much more. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, so separating, or uh, I'm sorry, building something out of nothing is, I think, the byproduct of having a vision and saying, we're going to figure out how to do this and, and having courage and, and, and just being relentless in pursuing it. And then when you, you know, you look back and you go, wow, look what they created. But you have to be willing. To, I, I, that's just the difference be, between people who are wired to like wartime CEO, you know, mm -hmm. we've talked about that a lot in this season, in this um, series and, and in other books that we've covered. Um, that's the mentality that they have, right? Like if I have to burn this thing to the ground and rebuild it stick by stick, I'll do that. And a lot of people don't, that's not the way that they think or the amount of anxiety and, and it's almost more of a desperation type of feel. It's just, it's very difficult to to do that. So yeah, well, what that was your thought process, right? When you left your current job to start, or you know, your yeah, job yeah, I wasn't thinking I was building something out of nothing. I was like, I'm just going to go do this a better way, 
Right. Which yeah. ended up building something out of nothing and then right. reinventing it and building, you know, what we had already built and, and basically starting over again and building something out of nothing. I've done it three times now. Yep. And and the final iteration, I think, is, is very, very good. And, and we're actually looking at it again saying, what's that iter- next iteration look like? And I think it'll look when we're done, like we started out of nothing, even though we, we already have pieces. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's nothing like the final product. 